What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the Premier League tier list and I'll tell you what, there's a lot of good cards that could potentially go into the S tier, could go into the A tier, but there is some other cards that will be going into B and C. Now D, the D section will actually be used for goalkeepers simply because I don't want to put a goalkeeper in like the S tier or an A tier if I personally, you know, like if goalkeepers are a bit of a sticky one because... Dean Henderson could be amazing for you, but then Allison is crap for you. Allison could be good for me, but Dean Henderson is crap for you. You know what? That's, you know what I mean. You know where I'm getting to. It's gonna be one of those ones where a goalkeeper for me potentially they never they're never consistent enough. So there's gonna be some that works, some that doesn't. You just have to find the one that works for you. So that's why I'm gonna put it in the D section, and I'll be putting in an order from my personal the best to you know to the second best but let's go into Wan Pizaka strength wise physical no, sorry uh, defending wise pace wise dribbling wise absolutely ridiculous he's even got an amazing pass to him but what makes this card not top tier is the two star weak foot and for me personally I don't enjoy two star weak foot fullbacks because I like to be comfortable on both feet I can switch the ball with whatever foot I want to and with Wan Pizaka you can't do that and that is the unfortunate bit now Jamie Vardy for me personally it's been one of those cards where the three-star skill moves, the four-star weak foot coming into play. He's shooting. I understand he has got 99 finishing and 99 shot power. It was a bit inconsistent. And that is something I did not enjoy. The review will be coming soon. Don't worry about that. The pace-wise, he is unbelievable on the pace. But he did take very big touches when trying to accelerate. And that is something I did not enjoy. So Jamie Vardy will be going down here. Next up, we have 99 Virgil van Dijk. This card is pretty much exactly the same as the team of the year. And pace-wise, defending-wise, physical-wise, there's not much to say about the absolute beast because by far, by far, he's the best defender in this game. Now, I don't, I believe it's Soyonku. I believe it's how you pronounce it. Now, this guy is actually highly, highly underrated. And it surprises me a little bit how underrated he is because he's got amazing agility. Pace-wise, defensive-wise, physical-wise, outrageous. Passing... It's good. It's not outrageous. I believe it's the vision that kind of kills him through LBYs over the top from, you know, one side of pitch compared to the other. He also has a four-star weak foot. He's a good guard. He really is. And he is obviously six foot one. So I am going to put him down here because I don't believe he's going to be on, you know, the A tier. But he is good enough to be on the B tier. Now, next, we do have Son. And the only problem for me with Son is is his body type i absolutely despise his body type his dribbling wasn't great at all but his pace his shooting his physical his uh not physical stats it was it was yeah passing wise it was outrageous yeah i understand the strength and aggression is what slacks on him but he doesn't get bodied in game and it's something you have to understand so i don't believe he's an s tier player but he definitely goes into the a tier now next we have salah and for me, Salah, I did actually enjoy. This was one of the only Salah cards that I actually did enjoy. Pace-wise, dribbling-wise, shooting-wise, especially on that left foot, unbelievable. He has got a four-star skill moves. He has got a three-star weak foot. And that, for that reason, I can't put him into the S tier because he is a bit too readable. But one thing I absolutely love about Salah is because he has got the outside foot shot trait, the finish shot trait, and the chip shot trait. Now, Robertson... For me, personally, it's his strength that kills him the most. He's got the pace. He's got the defensive stats. He's got everything, pretty much, that you want as a defender. But it's definitely the, it's definitely the strength that kind of kills him and not makes him an S-tier player. Now, next up, we do have a Charleston. And for me, personally, I believe a Charleston is definitely up there. Without a doubt, a Charleston, my guy. He has got, you know, the five-star weak foot, the four-star skill moves. He's pretty much shoots with either foot, pace-wise, dribbling-wise, shooting-wise, passing-wise. Physical-wise, are absolutely dis disgusting. And without a doubt, he's in the S tier. Now, Rashford, for me, it wasn't amazing. He wasn't, like, top, top tier. So, I'm going to put Rashford down here because of the three-star weak foot. And I understand he has got the five-star skill moves, and that is something I did actually enjoy. Pace-wise, ridiculous. Dribbling-wise was really nice. Shooting-wise as well was nice as well. Passing, physical, he's got it pretty much all, but a three-star weak foot is what lets him down. Next up, we do have Ndidi, and I believe Ndidi is actually the best midfielder in the Prem. But yeah, big words to say, big words to say, but this card I absolutely love, and he will be staying with me throughout the whole of FIFA 20, without a doubt. Pace, dr just defending, dribbling, physical, he can do everything, everything. I absolutely love this card, and if you're thinking... uh. 
Kante or Ndidi, like Gold Kante or even Informs, maybe not the team of the year. I'm, I'm contemplating. Is Ndidi team of the season better than the team of the year Kante? For me personally, yes. But there's other, there's other, you know, situations where you can argue Kante can shoot, Kante can do a lot of stuff. But for me personally, because of the height wise, I would go Ndidi all day. Now, next up, we do have Mane, and this card is actually better than the team of the year, so it's always, always going to be nice. He has got the four-star, four-star, which makes him, you know, be able to shoot both feet and do, like, the burbers spin and stand his scoop turn. Pace, dribbling, shooting, physical, passing, it's all there. So, we are going to move him into the S tier. Next up, we do have Moritz, and I actually used this card in foot champs, and I tell you what, it was one of the my one of my favourite cards that I have used in this older FIFA 20, because... I love five star skidders, right? And I understand he has got a four star weak foot. It would, uh, you know, it'll be pretty good if he had a five star, but we move on, we move on. The five, the, the four star weak foot does actually allow him to shoot on that right foot. It's just it's not as consistent as his left foot. If this guy had a five star weak foot, I reckon he would actually go for probably around 1.8, 1.9 mil. But because he's got a four star weak foot, I think he's kind of going for like 700k. Now, this Morris card, pace wise, dribbling wise, shooting wise, passing wise it is outrageous what this card can do and i'll definitely definitely do suggest that so we do have the new maguire card that came out yesterday if you guys haven't seen the review link will be in the description this card was actually a beast but if i'm gonna put soyonku in b i'm gonna have to put maguire in b i can't put i can't put maguire above soyonku because soyonku has that high agility yes he hasn't got a great balance but he has got the high agility and Maguire, he cannot turn. He moves like a truck. You have to put Shadow Chem style on this card. Without a doubt, he's amazing at defending, physical-wise as well. But the Shadow needs to be on him. Now, Kovacic. Kovacic, for me, is like a better Kante. He is. He's a better Kante. Not better than the team of the year, okay? Well, that's relax there. But he is 5'9". He's got a pace. He's got a drawing stats. Defending stats are absolutely ridiculous if you put the right Chem style. Passing-wise as well, he's really, really nice. So, I am going to put Kovacic up here. Next up, we do have Jimenez. Now, Jimenez is one of those players I actually did enjoy using because he doesn't feel like he's height. And that is something I was very, very surprised about. A player that's that tall and doesn't feel like he's height is always, always going to be an interesting player to use. Now, his shooting was amazing. The pace was actually really, really good. And I loved his physical stats. But can I put Jimenez above like Vardy, especially how good Vardy's shooting is? Mm, no. So next, we have the goalkeepers, I believe. No, okay. So we got Dean Henderson. Now, I am going to put Henderson just below, simply because I will get back to him and Allison after. So next, we do have Henderson. Henderson, for me, he's top tier. He really is. He's an outrageous player. I absolutely loved him. But there is some there is some problems with this. I'm actually going to put Henderson up here. I did like him. It's just... It was one of those ones where he's dribbling on boom. Didn't feel like it's, you know, didn't feel like what it said on the card. But everything else about this Henderson is so, so good. And if you have the chance to like pick him out of your player picks, do it. But, you know, if you get better options like Mares, Mane, Richardson and Van Dyke, obviously go for them. Now, next up, we do have the beast. Kevin De Bruyne. This card, I can't really say much. This De Bruyne card is absolutely broken. He's got 90 plus stats on all the base card stats. And that's a big surprise for me because I didn't actually, I didn't think he would have. But the fact that he put this card better than the team of the year, it just makes him ridiculously overpowered. He can literally do everything. He can play cam, he can play striker, CDM, centre mid. He can even play down the wing if you really want to. Now next up we do have Perez. And for me, Perez has never been one of those players that is better than like Rashford or something. Yes, he is 4-star, four 4-star. Four star. It is a uh, Team of Season Moments card, which is always nice to see that EA are trying new stuff. But for me, personally, I don't believe I can put Perez above like Rashford or, you know, Son or Salah. Now, next up, we do have Abamyang. I am going to do this because I honestly do believe Abamyang is better than Son. He is better than Rashford. And it kills me to say that because honestly, I would I would say myself, Aubameyang is not, but he really is. He's got a four star, four star. He's got every shooting trait you need him to have. Like pace wise is ridiculous, shriveling wise is ridiculous. He's an amazing player. He really is, and he's a, literally he's up there in the S tier. So next up, we do have Allison. We are just going to move. Actually, let's do goalkeepers now. 
Obviously, Allenson first for me, then Dean Henderson. Now, honestly, this Dean Henderson card I've actually used um, a lot of times. I use this card a lot of times for... No, sorry, not a lot of times. I, I played against it a lot of times in uh, Weekend League. And this Dean Henderson card is broken. He did a lot of things that I did not expect him to do. Which was always, always going to be annoying. But it's one of those ones where we're just going to have to deal with it. And Allison, for me, exactly the same as the team of the year. I've used the team of the year. And it's so overpowered. It's ridiculous. So next up, we do have Trent. And Trent, for me, has to go on the same level as Robertson. I don't believe Trent is up there into the S tier, but Trent is definitely in the A tier, without a doubt. His passing is outrageous. The pace, the defending, the physical stats, I believe it's his strength and aggression. I believe it's not the greatest, but the the difference between Robertson and Trent is Robertson has a two-star weak foot and Trent has a four-star. So I'm even thinking to put Trent up here. Uh, I'm going to put Trent up here. I'm going to put, actually, I'm pretty sure my camera will be in the way. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to put over here. Because I know my camera, my camera will be in the way. This looks a bit messy, but you get a point at the end of the day. So next up, we do have Aguero. And for me personally, I do believe Aguero is up there. There's a lot of top tier. A lot of top tier midfielders. I am looking at this and <laughs> there's everything you can possibly get. There really is. There's look at all these beautiful, beautiful cards. Now Aguero for me personally, he's up there. Shooting wise, pace wise, drilling wise, you know, he, he's up there. He really is. He's an outstanding player. He turns like a god. He gets into the angles that you want him to get into. He's got a four star, four star coming into play. So it's all good at the end of the day. So the last one, we do have Adama Traore. Now, nah, I'm joking, we're joking. Relax, relax, relax. All right, Adama Traore, for me personally, I would put him up there, but we have to get into reality. He has got a three-star week, but that has been upgraded from a two-star. So that's always nice to see that EA did that. Shooting-wise, unbelievable. Dribbling-wise, unbelievable. Pace-wise, ridiculous. Physical stats, ridiculous. He can actually pass with that weaker foot as well, which is always nice to see. But there's always that little factor where you're never going to be able to shoot with that weaker foot. And if you do and it goes in, okay. Because personally, the headliner card for me, it didn't feel like a two-star weak foot. It felt like a four-star. But this Adama one, I don't know. He, I don't believe I can put him on the level with Mahrez. I can't believe, I, know, I can't put him on the level of a Charleston. I can't put him on the level of a Bamiyang. He's good, but he's not really, really up there. Now, if you have an option of like Adama, I would say Adama, uh, Jimenez. No, sorry, he's an objective player. Adama, Soyonku, Vardy, or like Robertson. Personally, I would go for Adama. So just keep that in mind when doing your player picks. But that is going to be it. That is going to be my tier list. Like, I don't think I can put anyone higher. I don't believe I can put anyone lower. I believe this is like my perfect tier list for me. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.